everybody welcome back to the channel it is your natural nail guru Dati, and today we are talking about all the real reasons your gel manicure is not lasting I am sure there are plenty of you ladies out there that think you have oily nail beds or you do too much with water or you just are too clumsy with your nails and they're never gonna last but I'm here to tell you that that's probably the least likely reason your manicure is not lasting there are a lot of things that can definitely get in the way of a manicure, but if your manicure is being applied properly and carefully, then those chances really get diminished to like little to nothing. Now here in my shop, we have clients that have all kinds of jobs that you can think of. Their hands are in everything that you can imagine, but they still manage to keep their manicures for three, four, five, sometimes even six weeks at a time. I myself, a nail technician, has a manicure on for five to seven weeks if I'm feeling really lazy that week, but my clients never see a chip, they never see any gel lifting, and I'm in acetone all day long. I am in alcohol, I'm washing my nails 50 times a day. I keep them very long, so I, you know, I have to do a lot of things, and my manicure still lasts. But don't worry, because I'm here to tell you all the reasons your gel is lifting. And before we get into those details, you already know the drill. If you wanna be up to date with all of the tips that are gonna help keep your nails as healthy as they've ever been, manicures lasting longer than ever, as well as have the most thorough reviews on nail products out there, then you know what to do. Hit that subscribe, get your notifications on so you don't miss, and share, 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 because I promise, you can be DIY, you can be professional. The information I'm sharing on this channel is going to help you. So let's get started on this. So the very first and most obvious reason your gel's not lasting is if those nails are getting soaked in water. I don't care how many years you've been doing it, your nails should not be getting soaked in water regardless of the product that you're putting on there. It doesn't matter if it's gel, regular polish, acrylic, it doesn't matter at all. Your nails should not be getting soaked in water. All they're doing is absorbing all of that moisture. It does not dry right away. When you absorb, you kind of pump up a little bit, right? So your nail's gonna get a little bit bigger. It's really moist. It's gonna take a little bit of time for it to dry. If you're applying product, any kind of product, especially something that that cures hard, right? Like a gel, even if it's a soak off gel. But if you're applying that product on a swollen, moist nail, then by the time that nail takes its, its little bit of time to dry, which generally be about maybe 24 hours or so, you're gonna start seeing a little bit of lifting. Maybe you won't see it, but if you are seeing it and you soaked your nails, that's why. You're gonna start seeing lifting. Usually two, three days after the manicure, you're already gonna have some very obvious spots where it's just completely separated from the nail. The only reason anyone is soaking anyone's nails in water is just to soften the cuticle, but there are so many cuticle softener products out there that don't require any water or just require a little bit of water to wipe off, but there's really no reason to have to soak that. It's not helpful for the product, and it's just a cheap way to soften the cuticle. Let's get a little product in there, let's moisturize as we're doing it, and let's do that part right. So the second crucial step in the manicure process that's possibly causing your manicure to lift is the nail plate is not properly clean. That means the cuticle wasn't properly pushed back and removed so that it frees the nail plate. I don't know if you guys ever noticed when you're polishing and you have a little bit of skin left on the nail, as soon as the polish touches the skin, it just like sucks it all up. It absorbs, it starts running through the whole cuticle and it just makes the cleanup process time consuming. It's really unnecessary and sometimes you can't really get it that clean anymore. And part of the nail prep also includes the buffing. So once that cuticle is nice and cleaned and free of the nail plate, you want to gently buff the nail plate to smooth it out. The edges are the most important because we will, you know, scratch ourselves with it. We start rubbing oil and skin cells and things that are a little bit abrasive, I guess you could say. So you wanna make sure that you are buffing your nail plate really nicely, smoothly. You don't have to file it down. We don't wanna damage the nail plate. We just need to make sure that we have no oil, no shiny spots on the nail, and that those edges are really nice and smoothed out. And the third part of the manicure process that's probably causing your nails to lift is the actual polishing of the base coat and the top coat. If the base coat is not applied properly, and in most cases with a gel polish applied too thick, it could definitely not allow for the best adhesion. You wanna make sure that with that clean nail plate that you lay down a really good foundation of where your gel polish is gonna go, of where that top coat is gonna go. The base coat is really the beginning of it all. And then the top coat has to seal everything in. So you wanna make sure that your top coat is going around all the edge of the gel, especially the free edge, which is the little tippy part, you wanna make sure that your gel is coating everything, your top coat, okay? So that's gonna help seal the layers in and prevent all those moments that you're scratching or bumping, prevent those layers from separating. 
And this is gonna be my last and final reason why your nails are lifting. I know your heads are probably spinning. I haven't talked anything about what we do in the day and this is my last reason your nails are lifting. This is crazy, but it's the truth. Touching your nails. Sitting there all day, even if all you do is just, oh God, they're so cute, it feels so good. It feels so good, I love scratching myself. Your husband wants little scratches at the end of the night. Okay, we gotta, you know, we'll still give the husband scratches, but um, you know, touching your nails is probably the greatest detriment. It's the one rule in my shop. If you watch my videos, you've heard me say this before. The only rule I have in my shop for my clients is don't touch your nails. If you're someone that touches them a lot, then don't even look at them closely. Look at them far away. Look at that, I can't do anything to them over here. It is the biggest thing because I know that here in our shop when you're getting your nails done, regardless of who it's with, we're doing everything possible to make sure that the application is on point. Can things still happen? Absolutely, nothing is perfect, but the chances of them happening are slim to none. It's your hands and your habits throughout the day that you need to be good with. And I know a lot of people talk about, oh my gosh, I have oily nail beds, oh my gosh, I have all this other stuff. I promise you those things are not a factor if your manicure was done properly, okay? I rub oil in my nails all day long. I am in a ton of products, constantly wet and washing, and my nails still don't lift. And I get it, the what ifs. What if we're at the beach all day long? We're in Miami, girl, we're at the beach all the time, right? We spent a whole week at the beach, and then we're doing a bunch of stuff, and we're packing, and we're going on a vacation. Again, if you're taking care of your nails, then when you're putting them in those situations, they still have no reason to lift or peel. And if you want daily tips to keep you on point with taking care of your nails, then you definitely need to watch my last video. It'll be pinned at the end of this one. You should have watched it already, but it's okay. You'll have an opportunity to watch it after this. It's gonna help you keep on point with what you need to do so that your nails are taken care of to the optimal, optimal levels. Now, a tip that I'm gonna go ahead and include is if you are going on vacation, if you are doing a lot of things and your nails are longer than they usually are, either put it in your head that you're gonna be more careful or plan for that. Make them a little bit shorter and remember square edges are no bueno for every day to day wear and stuff that we do, especially if we're doing extra. So try to round out those edges at the very least a school oval. If not, be a little daring, go for the full oval or almond. Um, or round, it looks beautiful, you will love it. So I have nothing else to add to this. Make sure that your gel prep is super on point and make sure that you're not touching and picking and looking for reasons to have that gel lift. A lot of it is just habits, but when we have a great foundation, those habits really tend not to be so much of a big issue. So thank you so much for tuning in, that is it. We are done, stay tuned for the next show. We have so much more to share and I will see you guys in the next one, bye.